welcome to this video. You may have seen the news and you were shocked asking whether it is true that you can actually buy a plot of land in Canada for as low as $10. Yes, you heard me right, $10. Now, before we go into the details, let's see how some of this very story has been reported in the media. Watch this video. In Toronto, where a mere parking spot can cost more than 100000 it's hard to imagine any plot of land at a discount. But further afield in the northern Ontario town of Cochrane, how does 10 bucks sound for a residential lot? There must be a catch, right? CTV's Scott Lightfoot reports. The secret to finding an affordable place to live may be to look north. Way north to the town of Cochrane, Ontario, a more than seven-hour drive from Toronto. There, city officials have come up with a plan they hope will encourage people to consider making the move. We recognize the migration is taking place in the region, and we're doing what any, uh, any progressive organization would do, which is we're being aggressive and opportunistic about attracting those folks to our municipality. That approach involves a plan to offer lots for new home builds, for just $10. And this is all about building homes. We don't care where you're from or what part of the world you're coming from, be it local or, or otherwise. You build a home and create an invent uh, add to the inventory here in Cochrane, we will provide you municipal lots that are available at $10. Uh, those are typically $50,000 lots. The program will also offer a property tax rebate that will provide tax relief for the first five years of home ownership. Reaction to the proposal is mixed among the more than 5,000 residents of the community. People are a little paranoid about, you know, growing too fast and becoming big and so on and so forth. But, you know, the, the other part of the community also recognizes the generational opportunity that's here and the need for us to be, to have vitality in the community to grow. And one of the things I want to clarify is this is not a small town that's desperate to grow its population. We're an extremely... Um, vibrant community. The community located north of Timmins is known for its polar bear habitat and has strong connections to the mining and forestry industries. The hope is to attract young people who may have given up on their dream of one day owning a home. While well, the program is set to launch early in the new year. All right, people, so you heard it from the mayor, Peter Polidis, um, who actually spoke with one of the media houses here in, in Canada. So it is actually true. You can buy a property for just $10. A plot of land for ten dollars. That is the cost of like what burger. <laughs> Here is the thing: Canada's Canada's population spread is 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 quite shockingly disturbing. A majority of Canadians live in Ontario, which is the provincial capital. And Ontario is not even the biggest; it's the second biggest province in the whole of Canada, right next to uh, Quebec. But if, if you look look at the population spread here. 40% of the entire population of Canada lives in Ontario. When you come to Ontario, majority live in the south, where I am. I'm in the south. But the weather here is a little bit more temperate and uh, tends to be nicer. But the top, which is the northern part of Ontario, is where this little town here, Cochrane, is located. And you might be wondering, this Cochrane, Ontario here, is it the same as a Cochrane in Alberta? There is also another Cochrane, the town in Alberta, with about 34,000 uh, in population. That is not what we are talking about. We are talking about the Cochrane up north in Ontario. I must say that this is quite an exciting news, especially at a time when we have housing crisis in Canada and people can't even afford to buy. It's so expensive buying a house, especially if you live in the South, uh, it's ridiculously like overinflated, right? So a lot of millennials or a lot of young people can't afford to buy um, or build even their homes or even afford a mortgage. And you have a lot of people moving from Ontario or Vancouver to other places like Alberta where it is much cheaper, right? So for me, I find this to be like a really, really exciting news that everybody should be excited about. These are laws that belong to the town. So it's not like individual laws that are being sold here. You can find some of those individual lots or plus being sold online. But this one belongs to actually the, the town itself, right? Uh, the government of the town or the municipality. And they are the ones actually releasing this, the, the, the number of laws that over a, a couple of hundreds of laws that I understand they are releasing. This program has been approved by the council, as you heard from the mayor, and will start somewhere uh, in 2024. We don't know the exact time yet. My recommendation is that if you're interested in this program and you want to take advantage of it, 
please hit the subscribe button and make sure you're following this channel like this video as well and i will be following this development and give you more insight now should you move up north there are a couple of good stuff about northern ontario or this little town Cochrane. the population is pretty small it's just about 5300 400 people living there so it's not like a super big uh, place as compared to some of the cities here in the south so if you are a lover of like a small community uh, where it is much easier to get things done and move around especially in, a, in an era where we have technology like you know um, kind of just shaping almost everything we do you can choose to live in a place like Cochrane you have to be aware that it is in northern Ontario so it tends to be a little bit more colder than you find in the south right and then it's also surrounded by cities like Timmins, uh, you know, which is much bigger. You have Kapuskasin, uh, which is also another small town there. And then you have a few other little towns or communities around Cochrane. Cochrane is known for its forestry, its vibrant transportation industry, and, and also the tourism there. So it's a very exciting place to actually visit if you like to explore and enjoy. If you also like animals or if you're a lover of um, uh, polar bears you have more than enough that they have a polar bear habitat there and it's, it's home for some of the finest uh, polar bears you can think of so you definitely can check out uh, Cochrane for this reason it's expensive to buy or build a house in any part of Canada especially in Ontario the southern part now if I go and I buy a lot for say ten dollars which is nothing you buy a lot for ten dollars there Wordness. You have to obviously develop the lot. You have to build on it or build a business or put something on there, right? So that is a part that you'll be working closely with the city to make sure that you get the approval of the city to get all of this done. Remember, this is just a vibrant program championed by the, the, the town itself, hoping to bring in a lot more vibrant people and give opportunity to a lot of the people who normally wouldn't be able to actually afford. Now, the mayor mentioned that normally or typically it should cost you about 50,000 uh, Canadian dollars to actually get a lot or a plot, but you are getting it for just $10. They're literally giving it to you for free, right? So all this buzz out there is actually true. It's not false, it's true. And I'm gonna be linking the official website and the announcement for you. So make sure you read more about it um, and think through it and see if it is a place you would like to move with your family and then make your family. I feel that if you work from home or you're, if your job if your job is mostly around the internet, you can choose to live in a place like that, a small community if you're a lover of a small community. Because life in Toronto or life in Southern Ontario is super expensive. That is why we've seen lots of people move to Alberta in recent time because it's a bit cheaper in Alberta. You know, the weather is also really cold there. Um, but I think Northern Ontario is still uh, an interesting place that we can. The mayor has been championing a Northern Ontario revitalization for a while so uh in the last five years for example he spoke at a particular event organized by the northern ontario uh, uh development authorities there and he kind of just pitched some really good ad ideas as to how they can actually make northern ontario really really uh like a place to be because on how this really interesting evolutionary both approach and result in what we have is an accord that has been that is now being circulated to be signed by the local regional representation. You have a hood, and we have to get into action to drive where we are and what we want to do in our region. Uh, the next element that was the small community size would be an, a, a nice thing for a lot of people. You also want to retain a lot of young people uh, so that instead of moving to the big cities, they can find almost everything they want in smaller towns like Cochrane. So I appreciate Cochrane for actually uh, championing something like this. And I hope that is not an opportunity just for, uh, you know, the mayor said it's for everyone. It's for Canadians. It's for anyone who lives in Canada, right? If you're an international person as well and you want to come in here, this is good for you. Remember, this itself is not an immigration program. So it's not in any way to give you a visa or something to come into Canada. You have to figure out that bit by yourself. But if you happen to be in Canada and looking for a place to buy cheap, cheap, cheap property or a piece of land, this is definitely a free parcel of land for you and you can build for, on it. What is the average cost for building in Canada? Hmm, that is not cheap. In Ontario, southern Ontario or other parts of, say, Vancouver, for example, you could be looking at a minimum of about $230 per square foot. You understand? So if you have one lot and you want to, say, put a thousand square foot 
um, uh, apartment or house on it or close to it, 1500 or 1500 square foot apartment on it you just have to do the math and multiply that by the cost of like you know build, building a house per square foot and you notice that insanely the price jumps up to probably over 200,000 to 300,000 just in building costs alone I am excited that the the town of Cochrane is also giving a tax rebate for people who are actually going to be developing this lot so if you buy them and then you develop them within five years they are actually going to rebate and kind of you get most of the monies on your taxes back for actually developing so that is pretty exciting and you also know that the federal government has a program in place where they actually kind of just um you know taking off the tax on most of the building materials there in construction industry so that for me is also an incentive that can go a long way to help people who want to actually put or develop lands like this in Cochrane, right? Hoping to see how best we can build homes fast enough for Canada's rising population, especially at a time when like it is just so difficult to get housing under control, right? So if you did enjoy this video, it is true. Share and tag somebody and make sure you stick with this channel because I will be keeping a close eye on this and be bringing you every part of the development on how you can also take advantage of this you can buy a land how can you start it starts with the city you might want to reach out to the city i'm going to be linking their website as well and just make sure you're not asking them for visa because they don't do none of that stuff there <laughs> make sure you reach out to the town of uh, Cochrane if you have any more questions visit their website and read more for yourself and take full advantage all right god bless you take care bye